Hey everyone, Corinne here from the Red Carpet Report. I cannot be any more excited to be here today at the 2016 Kids' Choice Sports Awards. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I love everything here. I'm so excited. I'm just taking it all in and I'm stoked to be here. <laughs> Anyone in specific you'd like to run into today? Kobe, for sure, and Sierra. Sierra, Sierra. I'm just <laughs> I thought you were going to bust a move yeah, you gotta, for a You second. got a one-two step on him. Hey, Everybody. One-two step. Everybody. One-two step. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We That'd had so everyone awesome. jumping in right. on that. Right. Everybody. Uh, With the wave. Know. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> I really hope they play that today in between like a commercial break because I will. Think of me. Yeah. <laughs> for, I will for short. Uh, who would you love to, I guess what, what I want to say is if you could emulate someone as far as like their career. Is there anyone that really like inspires you that you that just clicks? That I would have to say that the person that inspire, inspires me the most is my favorite artist and favorite human, <laughs> Ariana Grande. And not be I mean, honestly, her career is the career that I want to follow. She started on a Nick show and ended up being the biggest name in music. And I'm working on some music right now, and that is my dream for sure. And I'm I feel I don't I don't know her personally, but I feel like I do. I'm like, I'm a strong Ari Nader, follow all of her work and I've studied her for a very long time and I love everything she does. Well you will manifest that. You will meet her one Thank day. You. How would you describe your music? Like what genre? It's pop with a little R and B spin. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with Ro James or Luke James? I'm not. Okay. I should if you be, remember uh, them, look them up. Okay. Fantastic artists okay. in their own right. We'll in it. the R and B vein, like new R and B. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're I'll welcome. definitely look into that. Wait, let me write that down real quick. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna write it real quick. Ro James just dropped an album called El Dorado. Really? Yes. Okay, hold on. How do you R O Maria. We're all about this in the middle of an interview and this right. is awesome. Yeah. Ro, I'm plugging you like no other. Ro as in R O just Bro James, yeah. And then Luke James as well. Luke, and then I'll remember the lesson. Awesome. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what you like to do outside of work. I know um, you're busy, but. Yeah, amusement parks, amusement parks, amusement parks. Uh, hanging out with the Nick crew because we kind of, we're always in the same area and always like, you know, just like same time schedule. Fam so, bam. Yeah, fam bam. This is my squad right here. Everyone that's here. And I'm really excited. And uh, amusement parks, uh, dance classes. Uh, nice. We have movie nights. Uh, I've, I've, there's a lot of movies I need to see right now that are in theaters. I've seen Finding Dory though. That's the most recent one I've seen. Me too. I five. I was. Satisfied. Oh, that voice, Dory. I, Did you I, die? I died. I died. I was done. I died. So cute. Cutest thing cute. ever. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one last thing. That moment that you initially were told that you were greenlit for Nick. <laughs> Where were you? What were you doing? <laughs> I was in the car, and I wasn't in the By car. Yourself? About, no, 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 with my mother. Okay. And. Less than one, not even like a half a second, I was outside of the car when I found out the news. She was still driving. The yeah, door she was still driving. Up. I just like hopped out. I ran up and down the Did street. Did they tell her first to you? They told, well, I was in the car with them. I don't think you understand. Okay, this is my story. On um, Bluetooth? Come yeah. on. Like I said, Ariana Grande was like my career, like that I wanted to follow. From the beginning, when I came out here, my goal was always like, as soon as I came out to be an actor, it wasn't like, I just want to be an actor. I don't care what network it is. I always said I wanted to be a lead character on a Nickelodeon show. And that happened for me. So imagine what was going through my head. It like, was goosebumps. Yeah, it was just all over the place. So I jumped out the car, ran up and down the street, got back in the car, because my manager and agent called, and they were like, hey, so you know when we both call at the same time, it's either really good news or really bad news. And I'm like, um, I'm hoping it's the good news. <laughs> we weren't even like completely pulled out of the Nick lot yet. And they were like, yeah, you booked the part. Remember you said you wanted to uh, be a main character on a Nick show? Well, your dream came true. And I, I was crying, I was screaming, and my mom did like a praise shout in the middle of the street. And um, we, we went to Target to is go pick here? up. She is, there she is. <laughs> praise shout, mom, come on. But yeah, um, we, we were going to Target to get some stuff for a school project. And uh, I ran up and down this Target telling random employees like, I just booked a main character on a Nick show. They were like, oh, good for you. They didn't really know who I was. They were just like, okay, whatever. But anyway, yeah, I was still- Keep it moving. Yeah, right. <laughs> What you want, pens? Exactly. Keep it moving. <laughs> awesome. I'm so proud of you, and thank you for giving me that boost of excitement and energy. Have fun today, okay? Yeah, we'll do for sure. Nice seeing you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and give a big thumbs up. Also, tell me, who's your favorite sports icon?